Sing to the mountain, sing to the sea. Raise your voices, lift your hearts. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. I will give thanks to you, my Lord. You have answered my plea. You have saved my soul from death. You are my strength and my song. Sing to the mountain, sing to the sea. Raise your voices, lift your hearts. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Amen. With your spirit. We pause now to ask God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh and the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit we dare to call Father, bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <coughs> A reading from the second book of Kings. The high priest Hilkiah informed the scribe Shaphan, I have found the book of the law in the temple of the Lord. Hilkiah gave the book to Shaphan, who read it. Then the scribe Shaphan went to the king and reported, Your servants have smelted down the metals available in the temple and have consigned them to the master workmen in the temple of the Lord. The scribe Shaphan also informed the king, that the priest Hilkiah had given him a book and then read it aloud to the king. When the king heard the contents of the book of the law, he tore his garments and issued this command to Hilkiah the priest, <coughs> Ahikam, son of Shaphan, Akbar, son of Micaiah, the scribe Shaphan, and the king's servant Isaiah, go, consult the Lord for me, for the people, for all Judah, about the stipulations of this book that has been found. For the anger of the Lord has been set furiously ablaze against us, because our fathers did not obey the stipulations of this book, nor fulfill our written obligations. The king then had all the elders of Judah and of Jerusalem summoned together before him. The king went up to the temple of the Lord with all the men of Judah and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem, priests, prophets, and all people, small and great. He had the entire contents of the book of the covenant that had been found in the temple of the Lord read out to them. Standing by the column, the king made a covenant before the Lord that they would follow him and observe his ordinances, statutes, and decrees with their whole hearts and souls, thus reviving the terms of the covenant which were written in this book. And all the people stood as participants in the covenant. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Teach me the way of your decrees, O Lord. Teach me the way of your decrees, O Lord. Instruct me, O Lord, in the way of your statutes, that I may exactly observe them. Teach, Teach me the way of your decrees, O Lord. Give me discernment, that I may observe your law and keep it with all my heart. Teach, Teach me the ways of your decrees, O Lord. Lead me in the path of your commands, for in it I delight. Teach, Teach me the way of your decrees, O Lord. Incline my heart to your decrees, and not to gain. Teach, Teach me the way of your decrees, O Lord. 
Turn away my eyes from seeing what is vain. By your way, give me life. Teach, Teach me your way of your decrees, O Lord. Behold, I long for your precepts, and your justice is me life. Teach me the way of your decrees, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Remain in me as I remain in you, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me will bear much fruit. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Lord, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing but underneath are ravenous wolves. By their fruits, you will know them. Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Just so every good tree bears good fruit and a rotten tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a rotten tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. So, by their fruits, you will know them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. The thought that comes to my mind is that um, evil most likely succeeds because it doesn't appear like evil to us that very much, very often, evil is disguised as something good, something desirous, and that's why people fall into it or follow it. Uh, one of the ways in which we depict the devil is always with horns and red and pitchfork, and obviously we would see that and run in the other direction, but the devil does not come in that form, but in attractive form to us and to all. And we must learn how to discern between what is right and what is wrong by the actions that flow from a person or a thing or whatever it may be that is enticing us. So we ask the Lord to help us with the gift of discernment so that we can see evil even when it is hidden as being good. Let us stand to pray. <clears throat> Having listened attentively to the word of God, we now bring him our needs. For those calling called to a priestly or religious vocation, may God grant them the courage to say yes to his invitation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of all nations, may, God, may the Holy Spirit inspire them in following God's commandments for the good of their people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For farmers and agricultural workers, may God bless them with a fertile growing season. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in this faith community who have recently sought the sacrament of anointing of the sick, May the graces granted in the signing with the holy oil bring relief from their suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our beloved deceased, may Christ bring them into the eternal joy of heaven with the angels and saints, especially any of our fathers who are deceased, whom we are remembering during this novena of all fathers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For what else shall we pray? For my son David, who has COVID. Lord, hear our prayer. For the pro life movement, and uh, pray to God that uh, things go well. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in Ukraine and in our country to stop the killing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Eternal and ever living Father, we praise your goodness. Look kindly upon these prayers we bring before you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Praise, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the, May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation, through Jesus the Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, William. Yes, and, William, and our William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you 
through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We pray now in confidence the words our Savior taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. The second verse of number 538. Third verse, rather. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and rejoice. Death has lost and all is light. Sing to the glory of God. Sing to the mountains, sing to the sea. Raise your voices, lift your heart. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. Have a 
good day, y'all.